Hey, beautifuls. Hey, handsomes, lovelies. Um, if you're not familiar with me, I'm Carly Myers. I'm the founder of A Piece of Positivity Studios. And what I do is I help people who are feeling stuck in their life and career uh, build a life that feels like home and make adulting fun. Uh, use creativity to make adulting fun. So um, I really just wanted to jump on here really quick. Hey, Carmen, it's been a while. Um, just to talk to you guys about what it is that you can do when you're feeling resentful, when you're feeling angry, um, and how you can move forward to make that really serve you. Um, and so I've been really feeling this a lot lately with um, a lot of my current clients, with some of the people that are attending my workshops, my Feeling Salty workshops. Hey, Ben. Hey, Justin. Hey, Carrie. Um, and the thing about anger, the thing about resentment is, is that it's really a roadmap for you. It's something that really will guide you in the direction um, to what your boundaries are. So um, I really, I think this, you know, when you start to feel resentment, when you start to feel anger, that's usually an indicator that someone has overstepped your boundaries. Now, you might not know that these were boundaries. You might not, you know, know that this was, something that you like that other people weren't supposed to step on but once they step on it you're like you're pissed right you're angry you're resentful you you might like lash out accidentally you know all of this stuff hey stormy um you know you might be going through all of this and it could really you know you don't know until until they've stepped on it and so what's great about resentment or what's great about anger is that it tells you where your boundaries are so when you feel those emotions when you feel resentful when you feel angry the first thing you can do is say okay hey mary um you know the first thing that you can do is say okay why is it that i'm angry why is it that i'm resentful is it because i went out to this event when i really didn't want to go or is it because you know i'm letting this person disrespect me disrespect me? Um, is it because, you know, X, Y, and Z? You know, where is it in your lives, you guys that are watching, guys and ladies that are watching, that you've had someone or something overstep your boundaries? Is it, you know, working too much? When you realize, okay, I'm angry, I'm resentful because this boundary has been overstepped, that's the first step in creating that wall for yourself. And um, I know that walls tend to have this kind of negative connotation, right? Like don't put up the walls. Everyone's going to try to knock them down. Um, but sometimes it's kind of like this glass wall that is your sacred space. That is something that's healthy for you and good for you um, and is really going to serve you. So um, a really great example is from, I think this past Saturday's workshop, one of the attendees came and she was really, really resentful. Um, she was always going out uh, to these events. She felt obligated. She felt like she had to. Um, and what was happening is that her friendship was literally falling apart. The, the One of her best friends, one of the people she leaned on during the hardest times in her life, she didn't even want to talk to you anymore because she didn't step, you know, didn't establish these boundaries. You know, she was going to these events day after day, after, you know, weekend after weekend after weekend and not, you know, not saying, you know, I don't like this type of environment. I don't want to be surrounded by, you know, for her, I don't want to be surrounded by the loud noise. I don't want to be, uh, you know, having the blasting music, et cetera. And so her resentment, what she didn't realize is that her resentment um, was the very thing that was going to guide her in the direction that she wanted. Um, that was oh, I don't like, you know, my boundaries are that I don't want to be in spaces that are loud, that are rambunctious, that are X, Y, and Z, and that's okay. But you have to realize that, and you have to be present and aware that these types of things, you know, irritate you or make you feel a certain way, so that you can say, you know what, I'm going to pass this. I'm going to, like, I'm going to take a pass. Hard pass, hard pass, right? Um, you know, I like to reference Brene Brown on this one. For those of you who, who have um, read Brene Brown, right? Choose resentment or choose discomfort over resentment. Choose discomfort over resentment. And that's just choosing an uncomfortable, you know, conversation before you get to the point of anger, before you get to the point of resentment. And, um, you know, I think that, you know, one of the things that we have to remember when it comes to anger, when it comes to resentment is, is that it is literally a roadmap. 
you know, same with jealousy. When we become jealous of someone else, right? Usually it's because they have, you know, they have something that we might want for ourselves. Like, you know, a common one for me is, is that, you know, when, when other people are traveling, I would, I've always wanted to travel. So immediately I'm like, what those people get to do? What, you know, I, I immediately go into a place of lack and, and jealousy and it's a roadmap that anger, that jealousy is a roadmap to say, Carly, you need to travel more. You need to go do this thing. You need to find a way to make it happen. Um, and so, and this also has to do with boundaries. So resentment, anger, if you're feeling that in your life right now, if you're feeling resentful, if you're feeling angry, then it's time to look at what's underneath that and create a boundary around that. So, um, an example for, you know, the woman who attended my workshop this, this past weekend is creating, you know, a structure to say, I will not go, you know, it does not serve me to go to parties like this and I won't go to them. That's a boundary for me. And we created a system, literally a system um, where she could say no and feel okay about it. Um, you know, it just like an automated response where it was like, you know, you know, I have to check my calendar. I, this sounds great, but I have to check my calendar. And she might not have to check her calendar, but it's a good way to create the space for her to really evaluate whether that situation is a boundary crosser or not, right? If it's going to make her resentful or not, if it's going to make her angry or not, and it's not going to strain her relationship because she's being authentic and honest with herself. So um, I just wanted to share that with you guys today because I know the kind of energy right now that's kind of happening all around um, there's a lot of resentment, a lot of anger, exhaustion. I'm feeling a lot of exhaustion from um, from you guys. I know I'm feeling it. Um, and I want to give you guys the tools to really just step forward and create those boundaries for yourself. Um, and I want to also offer you guys just an opportunity to step into, um, you know, getting to know this roadmap, if you're having trouble navigating, you know, what exactly is the root cause of this anger? Is the root cause of this resentment? Um, maybe it's sadness, exhaustion for you. Um, Carmen, clarify that. What about death? Um, you know, if you're feeling like you're resentful about these things, um, I, I really would encourage you to, if you're in the Philadelphia area, if you're in the New York area, to check out um, the, the upcoming workshop that I have, um, it's called Uncertainty, um, and I'm partnering with Shama. Uh, she's a great uh, in the personal development world. Um, and so, Carmen, I'll get, I'm, I'm going to come circle back, um, where, you know, we can help you really handle this uncertainty, handle um, how to put yourself first, how to, you know, navigate these really difficult um, you know, paths in life, and life um, to get you out to the other side. So I've shared a link to the Philly one. Um, if you want to sign up, get some one-on-one -on -one attention from both of us and really move forward and put yourself first. So when we're talking about resentment or anger about, you know, death, this is a really, really interesting, you know, um, a really interesting topic. So Carmen, I would I would love like a little bit more context around like what is what it is around death. Like where are you feeling angry? Are you feeling angry that your you know your dad is gone? Are you feeling angry that you know are you feeling angry with yourself? Are you feeling angry with him? Like where is that coming up for you? Because I know like for me there was a lot of and in my family, in my kind of trauma history, there was a lot of resentment for the people that, you know, quote, didn't do anything, right? Who didn't stop it. Um, there was like the, the anger at, our, you know, at myself for, you know, not, not seeing it coming. It's all, it's all of the above, yeah. Um, when you're talking about like the, the anger for things that are, that have happened in that way, I think, Carmen, for you, it's like, this is this is the roadmap, especially if it's pointed internally, right? So if we're feeling like I'm angry at myself for not doing, hey Angela, for like not doing something, um, you know, not having that conversation, um, not doing X, Y, and Z. I think where we can say, you know, where we can move forward is to say, okay, can I do that in my current relationships? I, you know, it's it's really difficult. Uh, surrounding death when we're where we can't necessarily go back um 
but how can I do that in my current relationships to make sure that I'm growing, make sure that I don't have this feeling moving forward. And an exercise actually, um, Carmen, that I would recommend for you is just really um, just writing a letter to your dad. Um, you know, feeling free to express that anger because that, like I said, that anger is going to be a roadmap for how you can move forward now. So um, if, if it's anger towards him, if it's anger towards you, just really expressing that and, and then rereading it and saying like, okay, where, what, what boundaries have been overstepped here? And um, I think a key, a key por portion of this for you is, is also just like the the kindness, the self, you know, the self soothing, um, because a lot of times when we get into these kind of hurtful states of mind, hey Brandon, you know, we get into these hurtful states of mind, these kind of defensive, you know, we're defensive for ourselves, we're defensive for the person that's gone. Um, you know, for our family members, like we're, we're in this like fight mode and it's literally fight or flight. And I think what would be really, really useful is to say, okay, how can I get out of this fight or flight? So writing a letter, meditating, um, which can, which can be really difficult, which is why I teach a moving meditation, um, which is going to be in this upcoming workshop called uncertainty, moving meditation and salt, um, to get your brain to like turn that fight or flight off which will help turn that anger off, turn that resentment down at least, so that you can get to a clearer state of mind to create the protocols in your life, um, the systems in your life so that you can move forward and feel better. Um, so, you know, for those of you who just kind of, kind of are coming in, you know, we're talking about resent, resentment and anger and how that can be triggered and how that can show up in your life, you know. Um, usually resentment and anger are a kind of roadmap for you, a roadmap to talking about, hey, Lauren, hey, Paige, um, a roadmap showing you where the boundaries, you know, have been overstepped in your life. Um, hey, Jeremy. Um, you know, so another example would be, oh, here's a great example. So um, I am not a football fan. I am absolutely not a football fan at all. And I have this thing called Sloth Sundays. If you know, if you know me well, that is something that I do. I do not schedule things on Sundays. I don't do anything. Um, I just wake up on my own time um, and I do whatever my body and my mind wants. So if I want to go to yoga, I'll go to yoga. If I want to sit and, you know, sit and be a couch potato all day, I'm going to sit and be a couch potato all day. And, um, you know, and I know that a lot of you and you're in relationships and you um, you have family and everything, there is a lot of stuff that you can't control. And so for me, Super Bowl Sunday was something I couldn't control. I'm not a football fan. Remember this, guys. I'm sorry. Um, you know, Sloth Sunday was scheduled over for me. And that was a boundary that had, you know, I was in a sharing home. So um, it was a boundary that was overstepped. The resentment kicked in, the anger kicked in. Um, and that showed me that on days like that, where the home is taken over, then I need to go somewhere else. I need to find my space. Um, and that anger was a roadmap to say, okay, if that's going to happen in the future, I need to make an adjustment. So I have another day or I need to find another space. Um, you know, it can show up in a lot of other different ways. It can show up in, you know, intimate relationships. Um, I know that there's this kind of like the, right, the anger that comes up over the silly things, but we want to, Hey, summer, um, we can, we also just want to really look at, the anger deep, more deeply. So, you know, what I was suggesting to Carmen is that, you know, writing a letter, whether it's writing a letter to, um, you know, the angry version of yourself um, or the heart centered version of yourself from the angry perspective, angry person's perspective, getting all that down, rereading it, looking at that anger and evaluating where the boundaries are that have been kind of overstepped and how you can reevaluate is really, really going to serve you. Um, in creating new systems so that you can move forward, so that you can be, you know, you can prevent the resentment, you can prevent the anger. Um, um, like I said earlier, you know, Bre Brene Brown saying, choose discomfort over resentment. That means having that tough conversation to enforce your boundaries. Choose discomfort over resentment. You don't want to feel resentful. You don't want to feel angry. 
um, it's just something that is really going to serve you moving forward. And for those of you who are like really navigating the like, you're just so uncertain about the anger. You don't know where it's coming from. You don't know why you're feeling so resentful. I would really encourage you to come to my uh, workshop, one of my two workshops that are coming up. I have one this coming Sunday in New York City um, and one this coming Monday in Philadelphia. The workshop's called Uncertainty. It's how to make choices that help you sleep at night. It's all about navigating the resentment, nav navigating this anger, putting yourself higher on the priority list, living a more aligned life so that you know you can feel at peace you can have this this beautiful state of mind that we all want for ourselves um so the link for that is in the description and i um i hope that i will see you there if not and you feel like you need support know i'm here you can dm me you can comment below and we will continue the conversation okay i love you guys